I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club business, the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, it, I'm tired of being the one to figure it out. The level of a clown in this world just never ceases to amaze me. But guys, as an empty army, we must go over it. Did a video none too long ago entitled ex-NBA player Joe Smith finds wife's secret OnlyFans account. In it, Joe Smith, 16 years in the NBA, first round draft pick started in 1995. To his dismay, found out that his 50 plus year old wife is putting her gnarled spiderweb fanged insides up on OnlyFans. We watched as Joe pondered his life decisions in real time. A lot of you guys said that it was made for clout, maybe for her clout, but not his. She recently went up on TMZ and had a lot to say. So let's go over it without further ado. Yes, the first question is, where's how Joe? Are you, how are you Where, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, he's pretty pissed off with me. So he's been, um, yeah. I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. Right before she got up on this, she probably squirted her face with some type of watery substance to produce the fake tears. Baby girl, we know you're not crying. Stop lying. Stop lying. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, and so crazy. She's putting her gut link up on her LinkedIn. But yeah, that's what you guys get for not paying attention to your wife. Now, imagine if a guy said that, <laughs> like, I cheated on her or I was violent towards her because she wasn't paying attention to me. Would that be swept under the rug so much so was this? Let go. You know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. I mean, it's no secret, Joe's financial issues. Before she gets into the financial issues, notice what she said, a friend that he's entertaining. A bunch of modern women will look at that quote and be like, oh, he had a side chick. Oh, he was cheating on her. What if he had a friend in his life that knew that he was married to a veteran harlot and that he was going through some things, maybe mentally within his life? So how about I be a friend and let you know what your goddamn wife is doing? Doesn't mean that he was porking her, but what she's doing is insinuating that in order to relieve accountability for what she caused. Let go. You know, mm -hmm. and I have always made a good life for myself. You know, um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off. It was for you the know, other things, but I wonder you know, if Joe not knew everybody's that. hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, oh, wow. I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot like and I just was I just figured out like figure out. I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. To say that you're going through trials and tribulations with him, but then to also out him that he was depressed is wild. The degree of heartless on this chick is absolutely insane. But Joe, you legitimately wife the porn star. Were you thinking anything different? A corn star and heartless go together like peanut butter and jelly. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and had to get you it won't do it, so I had to. And I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I Good point. retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I figured, you know, 
I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club business, the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, it, I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal. Why would you at least not tell him about the OnlyFans page? Why would you at least not tell him that you were putting your sphincter online for money now? I mean, you told him about the other businesses. I mean, shit, he was even a part of one of the businesses. Probably because you wanted to keep the money from that business all to yourself. If she is telling the truth, and obviously that's a big if, I can understand how a woman would get tired of a guy that she feels as though she has to support through his depth. And we got a lot of evidence to show how bad he is with money. And the reason I can understand that is because what I tell Tell you guys all day is that love for the modern woman today is conditional it's based off of a set of conditions and if you do not hit those conditions for a long enough time if you get depressed down bad then they can go off and do some shit like this maybe not to the degree of what she's doing because of her past her trauma in her past but something relatively the same but i am be honest too guys if i got guy friends in my life that year after year they're taking l after l there's only but so much that i could do with you within my friendship with you i don't like to be around guys that are losing for long Long periods of times as well either so if she's telling the truth and she's probably not then i can understand to a degree let's go you know it's not it's not fair and i don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content this is ridiculous but we've been together for almost 13 years though we've been together since 2012 like after his retirement and it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted it was a forced retirement because he just got locked out after the lockout in the 2011 lockout you guys remember right. you know he just never got a new job nobody wanted him anymore so you know there was a depression and i've been going you know dealing with all of this stuff and i'm sorry you know uh, that I, I'm not sorry for what I'm doing. I'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not, that wasn't a selfish um, decision. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. Um, I just, I love him. Um, if we were, like, if he never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for us. Oh, shut up. The reason why I don't have sympathy for her, this all I really love Joe, is because she said it before. She said that she was over in Germany. She said that she wanted to take advantage of his stardom. Now think of the timeline. He was still playing in the NBA to some degree back in 2011. She wanted to utilize his stardom to transition her career. She moved back to the States. He got locked out, fell into a deep depression, and eight-ish years later made this executive decision. You got with him due to conditional reasons, and right now you're still utilizing his name and posting that video up to social media. You chose to get married for profit, and now that Joe, according to your own words, is not fulfilling his end of the bargain, you are breaking the sanctity of that marriage, which is supposed to be lifelong, because it no longer works in your favor. Till death do you part or until profit do you part? Was that the vows that you signed up under? Let's see if she says anything else. I wish he wanted that also. That's really where I'm at. You know, I wish that he wanted the best for us because he's not really wanting the best for himself. So I can't expect him to do for him, what he, for me, what he can't do for himself, I guess. And that's why I just did what I had to do. Have you drawn that line in the sand that you will continue doing OnlyFans? Unless something else happens, that, you know, changes that? No, I'm gonna continue my OnlyFans. I think as a couple and just him individually, he needs counseling to help find out how to re-find his self and find his new place in the world, you know? It's really hard once you've had a major career, you were the number one draft pick and then everything ends, you know? I, how, do you, how do you deal with that? I don't wanna be alone. Listen, and I agree with her. I often get emails from athletes that were gods on their college campuses, and now because they're no longer treated that way, they're now finding a tough time to acclimate to being a non-god in society, essentially. But if you guys are believing her tears, then you've learned nothing from this platform to suggest counseling. After posting the video of your husband in distress, it's simply, I can't make this shit up material. 
if that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. But um, I, I, I don't think we'll have a divorce. I don't think so. I think he'll, I think he, he'll come around. He'll come around, huh? Joe, I really hope for your sake that you do not come around. After watching what she posted to her platforms and after this TMZ interview, it's just clear ever more than before that she's doing this all for clout. But there's gonna be a whole bunch of women that come off the woodworks. I support her for doing whatever that she needs to do. I'd be way more inclined to agree with you if she wasn't married to him. But see, to the modern woman today, marriage doesn't matter. They utilize it as a stepping stone to appear a lot more valued within society. But see, this is all you can expect from women that think like her today. It's just a constant addiction to attention, to validation. You see, when they went in with a ring on their finger, it was all about you and her being against the world, babe. Now it's, he needs counseling. We need counseling. After embarrassing him and continuing to embarrass him. Men who are considering marriage, their biggest fear is that the woman that they once loved now becomes unrecognizable. It's clear that looking at Joe and his history that the brother is going through something. He's going through some issues. Joe, if you ever want to reach out to the platform, I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. But you had to have known that before wifing a harlot, that this was only a matter of time. You are not 100% innocent in this situation either, so you must take accountability for your decisions. All right, guys, let me get out of here. Guys, this is a sad situation all around. It's really tough to see a... Uh, athletic great like Joe Smith being um, taken down like this or being demonstrated at some of his lowest points by someone that he is supposed to be trusting. I can only imagine that she still wants to be in this marriage because if they were to get divorced, then she would take half of his debts as well. But all in all, fellas, just like I said in the first video, the world is an OU understanding. The world won't care if you're depressed. The world won't care if you lose your job. The world doesn't care if your skills are no longer viable in the new world today. But if a woman is attached to you and her once feminine role is now exchanged for her now masculine duties, she will throw a fit. Why? Because the love was always conditional and she'll get all the support from those around her. Crazy world we live in. But it is what it is. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me, you go to Turtles and Reviews at gmail.com. What you guys think about the comments, this video here today? Let me know down in the comment box down below, and I'll see you guys relatively soon. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.